we do support um, what we call a cache cleanup um, to clean up the, the files on the cache um, once it runs out of um, space. Uh, we basically provide uh, two policies. One is uh, you can set as a fixed set limit while installing uh, uh, the proxy or um, as an admin um, uh, you can go and configure at a later step say you want to change earlier we had set it as say 2 GB and then you want to make it as 20 GB um, you can always go and do that so that's just uh, based on a fixed uh, storage limit the other policy we provide is uh, what we call a percentage based policy uh, wherein you can say instead of setting a fixed uh, limit you can say uh, I want to use 75% of my disk space um, as a limit for um, for the cache storage so in this case it's actually a moving target so we calculate um, the cache limit based on um, the the expression uh, shown here wherein uh, we take the available space and then uh, we take um, the percentage of that which is going to give me the actual cache limit. Um, again I'll show you uh, a sample of uh, how um, uh, this uh, cache limit based on a percentage uh, works. Um, and then once we determine uh, that okay uh, the cache limit has been exceeded now we need to know okay what percentage or how many files needs to be deleted so for this uh, we have a uh, setting called a cache deletion percentage so you can say that the uh, whenever you reach a cache limit clean up 20% of the cache um, so that's always a percentage um, and then the files uh, will be removed from the cache uh, based on the last write time. That is, the files that have not been requested for a long time uh, will be the first ones to be deleted. Uh, we do maintain uh, a set of uh, performance counters we call them uh, proxy uh, statistics um, these counters um, we use to track things like uh, what is the current cache size um, how many requests uh, were received how many of them were cache hits uh, how many of them were uh, resulted in a cache miss how many files we have in the cache um, and then these counters say for instance you um, place a new download request so we are going to increment the, the download request counter so if it's a cache hit we will increment the cache hit counter um, and then if it's a cache miss the moment we add a new file we are going to increment the number of files in the cache as well as we are going to increment uh, the current cache size when we kick off the cache cleanup uh, we are going to decrement the current cache size of, and we decrement the, the number of files as well. So these um, counters, um, these are just a typical performance counters. Uh, you can view them using say Perfman or any other standard uh, analysis tools wherein uh, that are capable of uh, displaying these performance counters. Also, uh, we do provide uh, a web method um, on both uh, the proxy as well as on the, on the application tier cache. Um, you can see the URL here, uh, which will uh, expose the latest value of these counters uh, in XML format. Uh, in case of proxy, uh, as proxy can um, cache files from uh, multiple application tiers we have um, a set of counters one for each application tier so you'll be able to see okay on this proxy for this application tier um, how many requests were received so you can drill down into um, that level of detail uh, also we do uh, persist 
these performance counters uh, to your file. Uh, the default is uh, once every hour. Uh, you can go and change this. Uh, um, how like this interval? Uh, I'll show you um, the exact um, the config setting when we get to the to the demo section. Okay, here um, uh, we are going to take a look at the demo of how to uh, install the proxy as well as uh, I'll show you a sample of um, the runtime which involves um, say at least one um, cache miss and, uh, and under cache hit request and then how to um, invoke the statistics web method to, to look at the, um, the performance counter values.